Hello again, friends, and welcome back. In the next couple of weeks, I'll need to demonstrate the progress that I have made on a university project. I thought, what better way to do this than to make a video? So here it is. I'll be talking you through all that I have been doing, and I will show you the results. My project is focused on redeveloping the donkey car pilot and getting it to generalize to a strange environment. The first thing I will need to talk about is the design. In the absence of a viable waterfall machine learning design methodology, I combined a few methodologies provided in the literature and tweaked it a little to make it my own. First, get acquainted with your data. Know the distribution, type, and how to organize it effectively. Create a slightly better than random guess, quote unquote, skeleton model. Add onto and increase this model until it overfits to your dataset. Once that's done, scale back and prune your model until it generalizes either to the dataset you trained it on or to a very similar dataset. I have followed these steps on a set of CoLab notebooks, experimenting with different model architectures and training these models until it ran out of my ears. After I had a solid stretch with the models, I started experimenting with feature engineering or extraction to get my models to generalize well to unfamiliar environments. My experiments were all tracked in Neptune, which allowed me to keep track of optimizers, loss functions, layer types and sizes, and anything else I would like to compare. Neptune also allows me to graph the model's training and validation losses over a training cycle which is useful when comparing training performances with each other. You will see here a function that I have hijacked to add a lane detection functionality to the stock donkey car which will also be showcased today. We will be testing the same architecture trained on different data sets and tested in each of the donkey sim environments. The three available datasets are drawn from these three environments. The generated track dataset will be used to train the vanilla model and will be combined with the generated road dataset to train the diverse model. This dataset will also be passed through a lane detection to train the canny model. The warehouse data and environment will be used as a blind test dataset. Let's quickly run through a lap of the vanilla model in the generated track environment. Here you can see only my terminal, the simulator screen view, and the donkey car's camera view from the control window in the browser. This workflow is shown in the donkey sim overview video and is explained in the donkey sim tutorial, which will be released soon if it's not out already. Okay, so I have typed in the command python manage.py drive dash dash model model slash gen track model dot h5. Whew, a mouthful. This tells my donkey car to run using the vanilla model. I can select either user input, which allows me to drive the car through the browser with my mouse, or local pilot, which allows our selected model to take over completely, no human intervention at all. Vanilla performs pretty well in this environment, which is where its training dataset was derived from exclusively. There are a few wiggles here and there, but nothing too hectic. Overall, it fits well to the dataset and lap! Here we will have a comparison shot. This is the format that all of our models will be demonstrated with. This is Vanilla's comparison shot in all three environments. On the left is generated track, on the right is warehouse, and in the middle is the generated road. Vanilla was only trained with the data collected from the generated track environments, so the other two environments will KO at some point. There goes generated road. And there goes warehouse. Next up is our diverse data model. As said before, this guy has been trained on a combination of data derived from both the generated track and the generated road. You will see that this means that Diverse holds well in both environments and seems to find lane lines in the warehouse better than Vanilla did, but fails to make the corner. KO.
Finally, we get to see Canny. Canny was trained using images augmented with thresholding and canny edge detection. And we are using a modified version of Donkey that applies this to incoming images. In each of these environments, I had to change parameters in the canny edge detection function due to differences in lighting, but something like a Gaussian threshold before applying canny edge detection could help. What would also be great is a UNet or segmentation network. That guy would most likely be able to learn to extract lane lines robustly regardless of changes in lighting and could also be trained to eventually flag road signs, pedestrians and other vehicles etc. So that one wins out as my pick. It's got cool factor and it is expandable. Here, Caddy does very well on the first corner, but it struggles with the second corner due to some trouble finding lanes in this lighting. Bonus round, here we have Vanilla, Diverse and Canny going head to head in a warehouse comparison round. Here we can more easily evaluate the performance of each model in an unfamiliar test environment. Once again, Vanilla struggles, Diverse finds the lanes but struggles with the first corner and Canny makes the first corner but kind of bombs out on the second. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content that will eventually show up, I promise you. And check out the links in the description. There you can join our Discord server, the official Donkey Kong Discord server, and find a resources folder hosted on Google Drive with some pre-trained models, data and collab notebooks for you to download and play around with. Have a great day and we will see each other next time.